Hi, it's Amanda with Music Game Club, and we are walking through our Starfish Staff Boom Cards. These are intended for pre-K pre-readers to be able to do them on their own without much assistance. Deck one is tapping whether or not the pearl is on the line or the space. And if you notice, we have the line is starfish and the space is a pearl. So that way, if your student doesn't know how to read words yet, they can tap the starfish for the line and the pearl for the space. We do flip the answers around so they can't just tap one side or the other. They have to pay attention. Deck two is very similarly done. Again, there's the starfish for the line and the pearl for the space. And we also have numerals one through five. So that way next level, they can tap two answers. They have to tap whether or not it's the liner space and also what number liner space it is. In deck three, this helps your students to really understand what the lines and the spaces are because they have to drag a starfish to either a treble clef or a bass clef, space or line specific, one, two, three, four, or five. They can drag any of the starfish they want to, one answer, and then there are a few cards in here where it's like drag it to any treble clef space, or drag to any bass clef line or whatever. So there's a little bit of fun mixed in with these. Finally, deck four is more advanced, maybe not pre-K level, depending on how smart your students are. This one can be used for more beginning students and usually eight to 10 year olds. The student is naming the notes on the staff and they have to tap the correct answer. The letters shift around on the ocean floor, kind of like the water's moving them around. And so the student has to pay really close attention to make sure they're actually tapping the correct letter. This deck covers all of the note names for all the lines and all the spaces in both bass clef and treble clef. We hope you and your students have fun with these boom cards. Be sure to check out our printable game, which also reviews lines and spaces or note names on the lines and spaces, depending on the level of your student.